Together with SEDA, you expose the hard rain exhibition mm -hmm. all over Sweden yeah. now this year and next year. Yes. What is the idea behind uh, hard rain? The key message. I think what Bob Dylan's lyric has allowed us to do in, in the exhibition is to show pictures that really define the challenges of the 21st century, the challenges that we now really have to respond to in the 21st century. These are problems which have been put off and put off in the past. Now, with climate change, there's a new impetus, a fresh impetus to deal with them. And I think what hard rain does, because of the nature of the whole presentation, um, it shows all the problems and it shows how they're linked by cause and effect. You know, they're not arranged in an academic sequence, um, climate change, poverty, population, wasteful use of resources, um, habitat destruction. They're mixed up according to Bob Dylan's lyric, which he wrote, of course, during a, a period in our recent history when the modern world nearly came to a very abrupt stop during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So I feel that, that we're able in this exhibition to really bring across the, the kind of problems that, that we have to face up to now. Um, and the idea that I always had with this was to um, help create a mass movement that would put huge pressure on governments to, to deal with these issues. You, you can't, governments can't get ahead uh, of their electorate. They need a mass movement behind them. Um, the politicians know what needs to be done. That they're, they're, I feel they're held back by you and I not giving sufficient force to arguments that, that, that would make them act in favour of the future. So what I hope is that people seeing all these problems together, not one by one as the media report them, but the whole lot together, has much more impact, of course, than the, the, than the way the newspapers report a species here that's gone or a disaster there and then act and then write to politicians and put huge pressure on them. But people also ask about how to align human system, human system yes. with nature sy yes. systems, as you yeah. say. Yeah. Okay, there's a tremendous movement now uh, um, to, I mean, it hasn't been said in this way so much before, but, but um, the, the whole impetus of, of what we have to do is to align human systems with natural systems. We're, we're out of sync with nature. That's, that's what hard rain shows. We look at the clean tech revolution. This is a revolution which is aligning human systems with natural systems. Um, so there's one clear example, uh, and it's now becoming apparent that we can generate all the energy we need uh, from renewables. It means building a huge grid across Europe um, and bringing electricity from Africa. Um, the money that Africa would make um, from solar farms would help to fi finance its own sustainable development. So there's a tremendous opportunity now. We have the technologies. The question is, do we have the political will to act in favour of the future? What will you do now, my blue-eyed son, Dylan says? What yes. will you do now? Yeah. And that is the question. That really is the question. We have to create a mass movement that's going to put huge pressure on politicians. We always come back to this point. We've got to speed up our response to climate change. We have the technologies. We have to deal with the persistent pockets of poverty uh, around the world. We can do that. It will cost so little we wouldn't notice it. We have to deal with the population problem. We know how to deal with that, providing women uh, uh, and girls with education as well as boys um, and, and opportunities for employment. All of this um, acts to, to bring down the, to slow down the pop rate of population increase. We have to, uh, we really have to get industry to exploit natural habitats much more sensitively. So the the map, the roadmap is really pretty well established. I think what we need to do now is act.